Hey everyone, and welcome to another pour video. Uh, in tonight's video, I am using a piping bag. Uh, yes, an actual piping bag that one uses to pipe icing onto a cake or whatnot. Baking apparatus, if you will. I feel like I'm moving up in the world. Um, I actually saw Anne Marie use a piping bag. Uh, for the swirl technique and uh, various people commented on my other videos saying that I should ditch the Ziploc and go for the actual piping bag. So that's what I did and I'm quite pleased with the results. Um, the bags just seems like a little more ro robust and it was certainly a whole bunch easier to control. Um, I decided to go big or go home, so I went with a, like a really big canvas tonight. It's a 28 by 28, which is much bigger than I normally do. And you're also going to have to excuse the, the little chunk in my hair. I don't know what that was. I had to set up uh, by my workbench and I rigged up my camera and a whole bunch of dust fell on me. So I'm going with it was dust or something in my hair. Anyways, I'm pouring on a piece of MDF, but I actually built up the sides a bit. Um, I screwed on a three-quarter MDF around the perimeter of it, uh, just to make it a little bit more robust. But uh, it didn't add to the weight too much of it, because I really thought that it would be way too heavy if I went that thick all the way through. So... Um, another thing about this video is I need to apologize for screwing up my camera angle and actually half my, well not half, but like a corner of my canvas is out of the picture, which I'm kicking myself over. I wish it, that I had like maybe, you know, put some masking tape around the spot that I needed it to be. But anyways, I put a whole lot of paint in the bag. I probably didn't need to put so much paint in. Because I think that I would have been happy with right about there. Um, but then I still had paint, so I went around for another loop. Well, I'm happy and I'm unhappy. I mean, that last little thin loop the loops turned out to be really pink, which was neat. Um, the green in the bottom there, I, I have no idea why the green keeps on being so prominent in my paintings. I mean, this one, I barely put any green in at all, and yet it's still popping up. Anyways. Very loopy. I really liked it. Um... I did a little bit of uh, tilting, but again, this uh, technique doesn't really lend much to the tilting aspect. I mean, I just uh, really didn't want to mess up my cells again. However, there was uh, another YouTuber, um, Tracy. I believe her name is Tracy. Uh, I'll have to double check that. I'll write that in the description. But uh, she came up with an idea of um, putting extra bubbles in the painting. So I thought that was an incredibly neat idea. And so I put an extra big bubble right in the middle. Um, just because I thought it was such a great idea. And it really needed it too. I think it really needed some sort of focal point. So I put a big dot in the middle, and uh, wish I had left it at that. that. Um, and then I decided to put a little pink dot in there. And then I was worried that it kind of looked like a nipple. So I am decided to put another blue dot in there. And then it just kind of looked like a blue nipple.
So this is kind of one of those things where you need to learn how to quit when you're ahead. I actually might run downstairs later on and uh, after I'm finished editing this video and just take out that color bit altogether, go back to the white, <clears throat> excuse me, the white dot in the middle. I don't think it needed all that colored bits. Anyways, here's a close-up of all these loops. So I did this uh, painting by my workbench and then I realized that I needed to put it back in my art room area. And it's a fairly big painting and it was very difficult to maneuver around. And I actually ended up sticking my arm in a part of it. Which, is surprisingly, it didn't ruin the painting all that much. I'm gonna go wash up. I hope you like watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!